another type of function you're going to have to differentiate that doesn't fall under the category of using power rule, product rule, or quotient rule is when you have inverse trig functions. So your inverse trig functions are your arc sine, your arc cosine, your arc tangent, or the reciprocal functions of those secant, cosecant, cotangent. Now the inverse trig function sometimes are represented by that negative one power. Keep in mind that's not a negative one power, that's just noting that you're doing the inverse trig function. So doing the derivatives of these, you, can be, you are able to prove these and you're going to have to do that later in the class, but for now it's something you really just want to memorize. So if you have the function arctangent of x, the derivative of that, something you're just going to want to memorize, 1 over 1 plus x squared. The other two that you're going to need to know are arc sine and arc cosine. The function arc sine of x, your derivative there is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And finally, our cosine of x, your derivative there is going to be negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, just the opposite of your arc sine of x. Those are your derivatives of inverse trig functions, and it would do you well to memorize these uh, for your exam.